Hello! Today we're having a look at Performance Monitor and how to basically set it up, use it, view it, and also, shall we say, customize it for using a basically second opinion. Okay, the main thing about Performance Monitor is it has so many different counters, okay, so many different aspects of the entire Windows system that can be monitored. For example, this is looking at the CPU usage right now and it's doing it over time. Okay, let's actually see how to start Performance Monitor. You basically go over here and perfmon.exe. Okay, click on perfmon, run it, and it opens that up. Okay, now, there are some times when you might look at the graphs or so and think, oh, well, that doesn't quite make sense. And you might want like a second opinion, like with a doctor. You can actually start up Performance Monitor with a second opinion by typing in P-E-R-F-M-O-N dot E-X-E forward slash S-Y-S-M-O-N underscore W-M-I. Okay, and then you run that, and then it basically is using a dis different system to monitor it. Okay. All right, let's clear all these things, and then show how do we start with it. Okay. When you start up, it comes over here. You click over there. It generally has the basic CPU running. And now, let's add. Okay, let's add, shall we say, the disk. Okay, now let's look at how we do for the physical disk. Okay, basically click on there, and then you can choose which ones you want. Okay, basically we just want the last ones, so disk read, disk transfer, disk write. Okay, we don't really need the rest, that's fine. We can click add, there we go. And now, basically, this will be monitoring what's happening with our disk. Okay. If we are looking at the way it is, it has a nice little graph. You might want to change the view. Okay. You can change the view, basically, to a bar. You can go to a report view, where it basically just gives numbers, depending on how you want to use it. Okay. Now, with the disk, okay, if we are seeing that our computer is running a little bit slow, okay, and the disk drive is constantly flashing, but we're not getting enough out of it, and we think it should be faster, we could go and check with the manufacturer's website and see how many, basically, bytes per second, okay, the transfer rate should be, what should be the read, write, transfer, etc. on that. And if the numbers coming out over here, okay, are not as per our expectations, okay, we can then maybe, shall we say, modify settings in device manager or etc. on the transfer type. Okay. Now, another thing that you might want to look at is basically the CPU, okay, which is a processor. Okay, if we're constantly seeing that our computer is extremely slow, okay, you might want to look at processor. Okay, click on processor. You can add all of them. Okay, that's basically got the star over there, so that's adding all our counters. Okay, so basically we're looking at the processor. You might look at, shall we say, percentage used, okay, percentage idle time. Okay, you can fine tune it based on each processor, etc. Okay, you might want to change the colors of things okay there we go you can change the colors you can basically remove things okay that's basically that over there you can change the width now you might also want to look at for example page files okay let's just clear all these now what this is going to be showing is basically our page file, how's it being utilized? Are we getting, shall we say, 100% usage, 85% usage, 
if our page file is being used extremely highly, we might want to kind of like, shall we say, go and modify the page file. If we've manually set, shall we say, like um, 5 gig for a page file, we might want to increase it, okay? Or we might want to set it back to automatic. Okay. Also, you might want to consider if it's constantly running at max page file, you might want to consider adding more memory to your computer. Okay. Another thing that you might want to do is save your settings. Once you have your settings set up, including, shall we say, how frequent it's being monitored, okay, you could sample every one second, every 10 seconds. For example, if you're doing over a day, you don't want it every single second because that's a lot of data being monitored. You might want to do it every so often, okay? So you can change the duration and the sample in settings, okay? And then once you have that done, you basically right-click over there, okay, and then save settings as, okay, and then you give it a name and then save it wherever you want to. Okay, hopefully this has helped regarding performance monitor. This is just a very simple introduction. However, please do look through it because it literally monitors most of what is ever going to be needed for a computer. Thank you.